Welcome back to Classic Gaming Quarterly TV. There's no debating that Ayrton Senna was the greatest racing driver of all time. But before he shaved it off, Nigel Mansell had the sweetest mustache. In honor of the fallen hero that was his once epic cookie duster, today we're taking a look at Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing for the Super Nintendo. Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing was released on both the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis in 1993. In 93, Mansell was at the peak of his driving career. He won the 1992 Formula One Drivers' Championship, retired and moved to the United States where he raced in the IndyCar series, winning the championship in his rookie season. This made him the only racing driver in history to simultaneously hold both titles. The first thing that struck me about this game is how fluid the animation is. I don't know how well it comes through on YouTube, but the game feels like it's running at some impossibly high frame rate. Modern gamers like to complain about it, but the inclusion of sponsor logos both on the car and on the track helps add to the realism of games like this. Probably due to some licensing situation, Ayrton Senna has been replaced by his teammate Gerhard Berger as the McLaren driver in the American version of the game. But in Japan, where the game is known as Nigel Mansell's F1 Challenge, Senna takes his rightful place. Senna was and still is so popular in Japan that no Formula One game from that era would have any credibility in his absence. To give you an idea of Senna's influence in the Land of the Rising Sun, Gran Turismo creator Kazunori Yamauchi recently called Senna his personal hero and stated that without him Gran Turismo likely never would have existed. Various weather conditions are possible, including sunny, overcast, and rainy. When you pit during a race, you can change your tire type and you'll need to if the conditions go from dry to wet. The game features every track on the 1992 Formula One schedule, and you can even get some advice on driving each one from Il Leone himself. One thing I'm not a fan of in this game are the sound effects. The game has that signature Super Nintendo echo, and the cars sound like they're battery operated as the engines have too much of a high-pitched whine. Although the ability to set up your car makes this game much more of a sim, the obvious comparison to be made is between this and the Super Monaco GP series on the Sega Genesis. If you find yourself with a Super Nintendo but no Genesis, an unenviable position by any standard, you'll be happy to know that Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing will do a good job scratching your Formula One itch. Once again, I find myself taking a game that I bought purely to review and placing it on the shelf with the rest of the Keeper games in the Classic Gaming Quarterly Library. Thank you. 